Welcome. This is the grade eight math teen ready practice test question number five in the 2019 20 version. Anyway, what value of coefficient b makes the equation true for any real number x? Well, b is right here, so it's whatever x is getting multiplied by to make these two things equal. So the key issue here is that we have an equal sign, so we need to address that. So I have negative three times the quantity 2x minus 3 plus 5x equals bx plus 9. So we're just going to do our normal, almost like we're solving an equation, but we only have to worry about combining the expression here on the left. I'm going to distribute first because that's generally how this goes when you go to that a system for solving equations doing the distributive properties first. Also, If I were to look at the order of operations, I use a pyramid. The top layer would be parentheses. Can I combine these two terms? No, they're not like terms. Exponents? No, that's not a big deal. Uh, multiply and divide? I would have to multiply first. The very first thing it says is negative 3 times the quantity, so it's telling me that I need to multiply first. This is left to right, by the way, so if, it's, if it was divide first, we'd have to do divide first. Same down here. If it was subtract first, we'd do subtract, but it could be add. Who knows? So we'll multiply. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6x. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. Now one of those things that students I've had in the past that have trouble with is they forget their negative and they end up putting minus 9 there. So it's in your best interest when you have distributive if you have your pencil handy. So just put it in a box, including the sign. And don't think like it's plus negative or whatever or this is minus 3, and I'll do negative 3 times 3, and it's minus. Just, if you're multiplying, treat it as a negative, and if you're adding or subtracting, treat it like it's a minus. Your life will become much easier. So negative 3 times negative 3, negative times negative is positive, so you get plus 9. Um, negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Still don't know yet, because we're not finished. I need to combine like terms. There's no multiplying left other than the coefficient in the variable, but that's nothing. So I need to add or subtract. Well, not like terms, but here's a term. Once I get to this point, sometimes I just make a mark on like terms, and then what did I do? Sometimes I'll put a, the constant terms in a triangle because I forget constants all the time. Not a big deal here, but maybe in the future. Negative 6 plus 5. These are on the same side of the equal sign, so you don't do opposite operations. You just do what you sh are, is shown. If you draw the line here, it makes it easy to tell. If it's on the same side of the line, do what it says. Opposite sides, opposite operations. So negative 6 plus 5x is negative 1x. And then you just, there's no other constant terms, so you draw down plus 9, bx plus 9. Hey, look, this is the same. And the term, the coefficient on the x here is b. The coefficient on the, the term here is negative 1. So my answer to number 5 is c. It's not a huge deal. This is not a particularly difficult question. What's particularly difficult is making sure that you don't make careless mistakes. If you forgot this was a negative and you made it, okay, well, this is 6 plus 5, you get 11x. Um, or here, if you did negative 3 and then you thought this was 3 and you put in minus 9, you'd get really confused. So just be careful. This level of basic algebraic interaction does not require you to be a genius. It simply requires you to be careful. If you're already good at it, it's really easy to make a ridiculous, careless mistake. Don't let those people in Nashville take away the points that you've earned over some silliness that happened just in the moment. Be careful so you get the score that you deserve. And that's it.